Okay, we we'll revise E maths ah. E maths coordinate geometry. Okay, not A maths ah. Uh, A maths are revised with you another time. Okay. Now, um, very importantly ah, you need to know that when a line cuts the axis, right? X and Y axis ah. Uh, you need to know what to sub in. So, a very good way to do it ah uh, is this. You ask yourself if you are on the X axis, you must have some X value, right? So. There must be a number not zero that is here okay uh, of course unless you are here la, unless you are here then it's zero zero okay that means uh, the y value must be zero you, you clear about that uh, so you set y equals zero you'll be able to find point b now again it's using the same reasoning uh, if you are standing at the y axis anywhere here you will have some y value right uh, that means your x value is zero so you set x equals zero you'll be able to get point a okay i hope this is clear uh. Okay, you can go and try it out uh, now all straight lines can be written in this form y equal mx plus c where this is your gradient okay and the formula to find gradient is this remember is y over x huh? and um, this is the y intercept so this is your c lah. Uh, but how do you find let's say i want you to find the equation of a line huh? what must you do very simple you need firstly the point a point, uh, let's say 2, 3, right? A point uh, will give you the x and y value. They will sub in here, sub in here. Okay, because the whole idea is you want to find c, right? So, you also need to know the gradient. Let's say gradient is half. You throw in here. Then you'll be able to find c already. Then you must write, you must write the equation. Uh, let's say y equal half x, let's say minus 2. You must write this. Then this is your equation of the straight line, okay? You cannot just say find c and then you... You move on to the next question. Cannot. This is the equation of a straight line. Y equals mx plus c. Okay. Now parallel lines. You know parallel lines are uh, they have the same gradient. So let's say this is two third. This will be two third. Okay. Now, uh, this is more for uh, a maths. Uh, we'll do it another time. Now the last thing for e maths. E maths is very very simple one. Just like that only. So for e maths. Uh, um, you also need to know the distance between um, two lines so we learned to use uh, pictures to help us right this is the nose this is the eyes that's why this is minus okay double eyelid and then the salute salute sign okay so the x will come here the y will come here uh, then you go and press calculator <coughs> carefully and then you'll be able to get the answer so that's all for the concept involved okay now we're going to do a, a simple example now uh, if you look at this question uh, a diagram show uh, okay in the diagram da, 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 this one is this point and this one is this point the line ac is parallel to the x-axis now all these things that they tell you are important you cannot say i uh, don't know what uh, useless one they don't tell this for me tell me this for what okay so the line ac uh, is parallel to the x-axis parallel to the x-axis means the gradient of this line is zero lah correct okay now the equation of the line bc bc here is this now why are they telling us this then they ask us to find the coordinates of this okay so you must understand uh, uh, when two lines cut each other you will be able to find the coordinates by solving the equation of the two lines simultaneously okay so now they tell me this line is this i write here uh, y equals I, I make y the subject okay y equals 2x minus 6 correct then what is the equation of this line now you must understand that a horizontal line okay has zero gradient and anywhere on this line the y value is one okay so this line of course is y equal one no? uh, so you sub y equal one you sub inside here then you can get the x value already uh, leave this as three and a half okay mixed number mixed number uh. okay so that's how you do the question no? very simple okay similarly any line that is um uh, vertical uh, for example this vertical line passing through uh, one minus four right this equation of this line will be x equals to one this is x equals to minus three okay so you need to know all this for emacs very simple one now 
the next question right can be confusing to some people some people are uh, because they never read question carefully right you read uh, the line l where's the line l it's not even here yeah it's not here on the diagram it's parallel to a b ah the line l is parallel to b a b so where is the line i don't know i don't know i must read on and it passes through c ah that is the thing it must pass through c okay and you see i never update the diagram i put here like that right that's very bad okay you must update the diagram like in trigonometry in coordinate geometry everything also must update then you will know that there's a line that's parallel to this a b like that means parallel right? parallel parallel but it's not any line it is a line passing through c ah so it is this line okay so they want you to find equation of this line l this is l don't you agree that m of this is same as the m of this gradient of this we say gradient of this that was what we just revised right it's parallel lines are the same gradient okay uh, so you need to find the gradient of this line how to find gradient of this line y this y minus this y divided by this x minus this x that's all very simple one okay like that Ah, so if the gradient of this line is minus 5 over 4, the gradient of this line must be minus 5 over 4 also. Why? Because they are parallel. Okay? And it makes sense because this is negative gradient. Yeah, sloping downwards, right? Okay, now we are done with the, this thing. And because it passes through this point, so I have the x, the y, the m. Uh, x, the y, the m. I can find the c. Yeah, and I told you you cannot leave your answer like that, right? You must... This is the final answer. Okay? So this is a typical question. Now, I'm going to give you another question that is of a higher level. Okay? Higher level. Is it Nan Chao standard? Uh, almost there. Huh? Almost there. Okay, now a triangle ABD. AB, eh? Where's D? Uh, you see, they like to do this. The Nan Chao. Uh, Nan Chao likes to do this. Um, where is the D? We don't know. Uh, but they give us a hint. A, B, D is 6 units square. Oh. And not only that. Okay, not only that. But you see, uh, A, B, D, the, the, the D can be anywhere, right? We don't know where it is. But then now no, no, they tell you, D lies on the line X equals minus 3. Now, this information is very, very, very important. Why is it very, very important? Because it tells us that this point D can only lie on this x equals to minus 3 line. Ah, that's why you need to know horizontal line, what's the equation, vertical line, what's the equation. Ah? So this is x equals to minus 3. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now, x equals to minus 3 is like that. So, my ABD is having area of this. Don't you agree, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? That if I were to draw a line like that, this triangle would have this as the perpendicular height. You see? Half, half times the base, this would be the base, huh? times the height. And do we know this height? Of course we know this height. How do we know? From minus 3 to... 1, this is 1, 2, 3, 4 units. Correct? Ah, so it's half times, don't know what, times 4 equals to 6 units square. So let me do here, half times uh, base, uh, this base, right, which I don't know what, times the height equals to 6. Ah, so if I were to work this out, right, Hey, the height is uh, sorry, the height is four. Uh. If I were to work this out, this would be two b equals to six. So b equals to three. Oh, I see, I see. That means uh, from here, from this point to this point, it is three units. So don't you agree that this x value will be minus three also because it's on this x equal minus three line, but the height is going to go from one. Okay, Let's start from one. Ah, uh, then. 1, 2, 3. So it's 4, right? So this is one possible coordinate of D. Understand? 
Okay, now, if I can go this way, because my point can lie anywhere on this line, right? If I can go up, I can go down also, ma. Uh, so you you draw one, two, three down. Uh, isn't that uh, minus three? Then one minus three is minus two. That's your answer. Okay, so I hope that is clear. The question is uh, here. And the answer, you simply need to, no need to show working uh, for this kind of uh, questions. You simply need to say like that or uh, like that. Got it? Okay, now I am just trying to show you another way of phrasing the question. For example, I say, what's your name? Uh? Or I can say, how may I address you? Or I can say, uh, you are... Uh, then actually all these three questions are uh, i'm actually asking for your name right it's the same thing uh. so instead instead of phrasing it like that okay you can pause the video and read uh. I'm, I'm not going to read for you ah uh. uh, i think i better read for you uh. okay so this triangle abc is such that this one is like that same right same right this one same uh. and this point ladies and gentlemen uh they tell you it's minus three comma p Minus 3 comma P means it can be lying anywhere on this line X equals to minus 3 here. Okay? Uh, so this is the hint to us that uh, the, the D right is minus 3 something or minus 3 something. Uh, then you just write down the two possible values of P. So P in this case would be either... Uh, 4, let's see, 4, or minus 2. Uh, okay, so just trying to tell you that there are two ways to phrase the question. Uh. Okay, now, of course, you will be tested on this fella. Will it come out? Surely, in almost every examination in the whole wide world, they like to test you on the length. How to find the length? So you draw these first. Must have the eyes, right? The eyes closed. Okay, double eyelid. Then the nose cannot be like that one. How can the nose be, look like that one? Uh, you must have this nose bridge. Okay? Uh, so that's how it looks. And then you put the X inside. Um, minus 3 inside. Then this is uh, 1, right? Uh, then the, now they'll put the Y inside. Then minus minus become plus. Uh, you put a bracket there, okay? Uh, then you can work out. This is in terms of units. 3SF, okay? Yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you.